Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Alex. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top five movie motorcycle scenes of all time. At number five is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Number five comes from the third and so of the Indiana Jones franchise, The Last Crusade, which was released in 1989. In this scene, Indy, played by Harrison Ford, and his father, Henry Jones, played by Sean Connery, find themselves in action in an action-packed motorcycle chase trying to escape the Germans. Although an iconic moment in cinematic history, the scene was not actually in the original script. Steven Spielberg and George Lucas added this scene after the rough uh, cuts first screening, as they felt the second act was rather word heavy and needed mm. some excitement to it. And to be fair, they absolutely nailed it with a unplanned scene. Half the German army's on our tail, and you want me to go to Berlin? Into the lion's den? Yes. Now, number four is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. It's the Los Angeles Creek truck and motorcycle chase. In this scene, John Connor, who's played by a young Edward Furlong, is caught riding his dirt bike in an attempt to escape the T-1000, who's played by Robert Patrick. And this is as he chases him in an 18-wheeler truck. The T-1000's attempt at killing John is ruined when the Terminator, so seven times uh, Mr. Olympia Arnold Schwarzenegger, joins the chase on a Harley Davidson Fatboy and is wheeling a shotgun in one hand. That's awesome. The Fatboy jumps without a doubt one of the most famous in cinematic history. However, this is thanks to some Hollywood trickery. The bike was supported by cables so that when it hit the ground, the bike and the rider's combined weight was only around 80 kilograms, which is allowing the bike to actually survive the jump. The wires were then removed digitally in post-production. At number three is Wallace and Gromit, a close shave, the sheep rescue. This stop motion classic contains a motorcycle chase sequence that has both kids and adults on the edge of their seats. In the scene, we see Wallace and Gromit trying to save Wendelly and her sheep from becoming dog meat. In true Wallace and Gromit style, there are plenty of complications within the scene that make for a tense but enjoyable watch. All in all, this film had 40 animators working tirelessly on stop motion to put together the intricate and detailed scenes, earning itself an Oscar for the Best Animated Short Film in 1996 days. It also won a BAFTA uh, for Best Animation in the same year. Absolute classic film with a great motorcycle scene. At number two is Top Gun. It's Maverick riding down the runway. Now, in one of Tom Cruise's lesser dangerous stunt scenes, he plays Lieutenant Pete Maverick Mitchell riding his Kawasaki GPZ900R down the runway like a bat out of hell. The scene is quite simply um, just set together as he rides in a straight line whilst fighter planes take off around him. When matched with Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone, the scene truly becomes iconic. Now, Top Gun was the highest grossing film of 1986, made, making over $177 million at box office. The long-awaited sequel to Top Gun is finally in the works after 30 years of waiting, and it's set to be released in 2020. Images have seen leaked to Maverick on his famous motorcycle, and it seems he is upgraded to the Ninja H2R, which is uh, quite a bike there. It's always gonna be a Kawasaki, wasn't it? At number one is The Great Escape, Steve McQueen's fence jump. As if anything else was ever going to make it number one, to be honest, probably the most famous motorcycle scene in cinematic history is Steve McQueen's fence jump when trying to escape the Germans on his Triumph TR6. Interestingly enough, the director, John Sturges, allowed McQueen to actually play uh, one of the Germans chasing him in disguise, of course. Uh, so. The thanks to the magic of editing, McQueen was chasing himself, which is quite amusing. Although McQueen did the majority of the motorcycle riding himself, the hair-raising 60-foot jump was not performed by him. It was in fact performed by his friend, Bud Ekins, uh, who at the time was running a motorcycle shop. This was the start of his career as McQueen's cinematic riding double. <laughs> So they were the top five movie motorcycle scenes as voted for by you. Let us know if you think something else should have been in the top five, we'd love to hear about it. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for watching. Thanks.